And here we are with some more tips on Lightroom and how it can help your productivity. I want to give you a few very quick tips today. Uh, first of all, something I've talked about before, the camera calibration. You will have all noticed that when you import a picture into Lightroom, it looks great. And then suddenly, two seconds later, it doesn't look so great. Why is that? Because initially, when you first see a picture, what you're seeing is the built-in JPEG generated by your camera according to its profile, according to its way of translating the raw data to uh, a file, to a visible JPEG. That is the camera's way of doing it, but in a few seconds the um, Lightroom app actually reads the raw file and generates its own preview based on its setting. You can see that by going to the develop module and in develop go to camera calibration the section at the bottom and what you'll see there is that the default profile for imports is 2012 process and adobe standard profile if i switch that for example to camera standard click did you see that change that's a very different type of color that's adobe's estimate of what the camera does um, if i go to camera landscape it's very different again, flatter but sharper. If I go to camera portrait, it's a much darker red, for example. So they're all different. Um, I usually, in almost all cases, prefer camera standard to Adobe standard. Adobe standard looks a bit flat. It's not always the case, but generally it is. So I would recommend that you consider very carefully whether you want to perhaps do that as a default. Um, you can always undo it, doesn't matter, you can always change your mind, but a lot of people find that it's just easier um, to quickly get to the right colors if you um, use the presets generated by Adobe to mimic the camera. Why? Because we always love what we see on the back of the camera. Those pictures always look great. All right. Um, so now that I've done that, I could, of course, every time go into develop and go into camera calibration and change it from Adobe standard to camera standard um, or one of the other camera settings. And that's fine, but that's a lot of work. So why don't we make that into a um, preset, a develop preset? So what I do is I go into the presets. You see them here, right on the left. I click on plus. I get a window and that window has all sorts of options. I'll call it uh, uh, cam standard default for example I can call it whatever I like I will store that in user presets and I'll tell it what's uh, required to be in this preset I'm not sure if I did anything else to this picture so I'll say no just the process version and calibration all right so I say create and we now have that as a you know, a standard we can apply easily by going to um, cam standard default. Click and there we go. Right. All right. That's the first step. Make it into um, uh, a standard user preset. What we can now also do is say when we import a file, it's going to be part of uh, that import. We can say import and let me just put a CF card into the reader so that we can import something meaningful and there it is EOS digital and I can click one of the pictures and what I can now do is go to develop settings user presets and select the user preset that we just um, generated so cam standard default for example and the camera will now, upon that import, apply this uh, default setting to all your pictures, to this picture, in other words. There is also, by the way, a metadata setting. If I've got a standard set of metadata, which I do, it contains things like my copyright information, my name, my address, and so on. I've saved that as a standard metadata set, and I can also apply that upon each import. It'll remember this for the next time. And so now when I import, uh, if I were to import now, uh, it would give these two settings. I can also, of course, apply keywords at that very same time. It'll remember the settings, so next time it'll do the same until you change it. All right, that's almost it. There's one more thing. 
You can actually make it even more sophisticated by going to the Lightroom Preferences. And in the Lightroom Preferences, you have Presets, uh, the second tab. And you can see there's a preset called um, Apply Auto Mix for Black and White, a preset Make Default Specific to Camera Serial Number. And I like that. Right? What that means is that for a different camera, it'll use different defaults, or at least you can use different defaults. And that's very useful because some cameras are brighter than others, some cameras have vivid color, other cameras have duller color. You cannot say that one preset will be good for all your cameras. If you have more than one camera, make the defaults specific to the serial number of the camera, the actual camera. Right, that was it for today. Uh, just a very few very short tips. I shall be back. Again, it's Michael Willems. See you on www.speedlighter.ca and also uh, I'll see your book orders on http colon slash slash learning dot photography. Bye bye.